Northern Ireland's Justice Minister has reported effigies of her and other politicians hanging from loyalist bonfires to the PSNI. Naomi Long said she'd been sickened by images she'd seen online. Sinn Féin has also complained to the police over the incidents. She tweeted that she had received photos of the effigies of her, Michelle O'Neill and Mary Lou Macdonald on a bonfire in Carrickfergus. Well, I'm joined now from Belfast by journalist Amanda Ferguson to discuss condemnation of hanging effigies on the 12th of July bonfires this week. We're not showing um, those images and we've made the decision not to show them. They're really uh, quite disturbing, as you can imagine. And Amanda, it's provoked a lot of reaction, condemnation, but also criticism that there isn't enough standing up to, 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 to what we're seeing and, and images not just of this, but, but, but elsewhere on bonfires um, celebrating the 12th of July this week. Yes, that's right, uh, Claire. It's been a very long five days since Saturday night since uh, a man in his 30s lost, lost his life falling from a bonfire. Uh, we've had the aftermath of that. Then we've had the 11th night bonfires themselves and the 12th and uh, various incidents linked to that. Now, it should be said that most people in the north are disgusted uh, whenever these types of incidents roll around, but it does seem to be an annual occurrence that we're discussing these matters. Naomi Long, uh, Michelle O'Neill and Mary Lou MacDonald, effigies of them uh, were hanging from a bonfire. There was also misogynistic uh, language, Irish flags being burned, election posters being burned, um, and it's been felt uh, among some that the uh, condemnation amongst unionist leadership in particular has been a little bit wanting. Now, it's not uh, universal, uh, but certainly uh, Naomi Long uh, suggested that the DUP leader, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson's condemnation of, of the uh, incidents over the last few days had been weak, as she described it. Yeah, where does all this go from here then? Like Naomi Long saying, look, I have reported this to the PSNI. Um, I presume it is being investigated. But generally, if you don't have a very strong unionist voice coming out and condemning this, but, but talking instead about, you know, for the most part, things are fine and, and this is about celebrating a culture. Is there a problem, a, a huge problem here that really this isn't going to go away this year? And really, is anything going to be done about the likes of this? Well, I think that things are getting better. And certainly out of the 250 bonfires that took place, this isn't something that happened at all of them. You know, you could see people posting from community beacons and there were no flags or no uh, hate displays. The police were always going to do this as an ev evidence gathering uh, operation. The, the 12th of July is the biggest police operation uh, of 2022 so far followed by the 11th of July, followed by the election, the centenary period, uh, and then Easter. So the police are, are gathering evidence at the moment um, on these matters um, in, in the hope of pursuing uh, the people who may be behind them. Now, you know, not, not everybody um, who is involved in the 12th or 11th of July hates uh, Ireland, uh, both jurisdictions, hates Irish people, hates Catholics, uh, hates their neighbours. But I think there's a sense that uh, we need to tackle uh, the sort of abnormal becoming normalised in, in society in the North uh, to make sure that there isn't a repeat of this again next year. It can't just be something that's condemned uh, in the aftermath uh, of the loyal uh, order's most important uh, weekend of the, of the calendar and then uh, we forget about it until next year. Uh, there's certainly a sense that uh, the misogynistic comments, the the sort of hate uh, displays, the flags burning and so on. It just isn't something that will be tolerated in uh, the rest of the UK and the rest of Ireland. Uh, so please, please, people are going to want to see um, a swift response from the police and perhaps in the build-up to these um, activities that uh, more can be done uh, to remove some of the, uh, these items. But certainly there's also the malign influence of paramilitaries in the mix as well. Yeah, uh, and the regulation uh, of all the activities that we're seeing at this time. Uh, Amanda Ferguson, thank you for joining us for the very latest um, on that story.